Hello and welcome to another Andy's Shed. Today uh, we're going to do another video in my uh, Metro X versus Creality Raptor Pro series and today we're going to do a speed test. Really really simple speed test. I'm going to basically set both scanners up in exactly the same uh, scenario with the same object <laughs> And we're going to say scan 5,000 frames, which is a reasonable amount for a small object such as that which we're going to scan. And we're going to time how long it takes each scanner to capture 5,000 frames in both cross lines mode and parallel lines mode. Now the way we're going to do it, and I've been thinking about this, is we're actually going to scan this in a way that you really wouldn't do normally. In that I'm going to mount the scanners on tripods simply because this removes any um, manual uh, issues with moving the scanner around or me not pointing it in exactly the same direction or it not quite picking up what angle it's at. I think this is probably the fairest way that we can judge the speed of, uh, of these two scanners together. So um, the setup is going to look much like what you, what you see here. Uh, we will have a timer running at the same time, so you can see that I'm not faking any of this. Um, we will be using my, uh, as the capture device, my trusty uh, Lenovo Legion. This is a uh, Gen 10 with a 275HX Ultra 9 CPU and a NVIDIA RTX 5080. So compute power is not uh, an issue for either of these scanners. Uh, they have more than sufficient to do this. So. With that said, let's get started. The versions of software we're going to be using are the current release versions, so that's 1.1.17 for Creality Scan 4 and uh, 5.6.7 for RevoScan for Metro X. Okay, so we're going to do the Metro X first. Um, we'll keep everything at default, cross lines, marker tracking, general object, keeping the object within the excellent area, we'll leave it at 0.3 millimeter, that makes absolutely no difference to the, the capture. Uh, depth exposure looks good, and with that said, it's going to be difficult to start the timer and start the scan at the same time, but we will do our best, probably be a one second delay, so start the timer and start the scan. So we're looking for 5,000 frames. Now, like I've said before, you, you, you would not scan in laser modes like this. Uh, laser modes rely on you moving the scanner around, up and down, left and right, to capture all the details and all the different angles. This is purely for uh, so I can have a standardized test in order to capture uh, make sure that the there is no human error involved here. So up to 2000, we're pulling well, just under 60 FPS. This is the, uh, of course, the new versions of Reviscan are all uh, hardware accelerated using the NVIDIA GPU cores to do the scanning. So closing in on 3,500 now. Four thousand. I'll try and stop the stopwatch exactly. We'll see as soon as we hit five thousand. Seven, eight, nine, bosh. Right, one minute and 34 seconds for cross lines mode with Metro X. Okay, 
on to Raptor Pro. So Raptor Pro, cross lines mode, same uh, same setup as um, Metro X. We're on the tripod. Got trying to keep get it in the optimal range. We've got the same uh, real time resolution, although like I say that makes if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that makes actually no difference. It's just what the internal algorithm uses to determine whether it's collected enough data or not. And we're not interested in that right now. So let's get going. I think I was a little bit slow there, hit and start. So we'll give um, we'll give Raptor Pro an extra two seconds of grace there. Still do not understand why Creality switched from green equals good to blue equals good. It was so much easier to see when you'd collected enough data. Um, I mean, having it sort of muddy brown and blue just is the, I don't know, I don't know what the developers were thinking with that. Um, I've raised it as a feedback uh, into my contacts at Creality. Uh, it's, um, I, whether they'll listen or not, I don't know. We will find out. Coming up on 3000, pulling 50 FPS. There's four. Okay, coming up on five, bosh, one minute 43, uh, we'll take two seconds off that because I was a little bit slow, uh, so that is one minute 41, so a little bit slower than Metro X. Right, let's switch over to cross uh, parallel lines. Right, parallel lines now. Uh, first up is the Metro X. Same test setup as before. Um, we'll try and get the uh, the timer exactly right, but we'll probably be about a second out. We're actually a little bit close for um, parallel lines. Let's move that back a bit. There we go, that's better. Can we still see the timer? Yes, we can. Right, here we go. Start, start. I'm expecting this to maybe be a little bit faster just because of the way that parallel lines works. By the way, we're not, we're not, I'm not going to show you the scans at the end of this because the scans are going to be garbage. Scanning like this, um, we're going to be missing sections, we're going to have um, issues where the lasers cross. Like I say, you do, you do not scan like this using either of these scanners. This is purely to, um, for commonality of test. Coming up to 3,000. Okay, nearly there. One minute thirty. Okay. Hmm. 
Now, interestingly, with wrapped up, parallel lines needs to be a heck of a lot closer than um, than with Metro X. So, to keep things fair, I'm keeping the scanners in their optimal distance range. Um, Let's get that right. Here we go. So again, we're pulling 50 FPS. Not sure why the preview has shifted all the way over to the left there, considering the IR camera is bang in the middle, but we'll, we'll give them a pass for that. Coming up on four thousand. Here we go. Pretty much exactly the same. One minute forty two. So here, here are the uh, the results up on screen. Um, Metro X uh, versus Raptor Pro to capture five thousand frames. As you can see, uh, there's very little in it. The Metro X is slightly faster at frame acquisition than um, Raptor Pro. Um, so, yeah, I guess we can give this one a win to Metro X, um, but there's so little in it, uh, I really don't think six seconds um, is going to uh, make or break a commercial job. But um, uh, it just shows that the two things, the, the two scanners are very close in terms of uh, in terms of how they how they collect data. So what can we learn from this? Well, I've seen quite a lot of people say that Raptor Pro is much much faster than Metro X, and it's just not the case. As we've seen here, I mean, this is far from laboratory conditions, but it's about as... Uh, I've tried to be as fair as possible, and I've shown you my methodology throughout. As you can see, well, in actual fact, Rap, uh, Metro X is actually faster than Metro, uh, Raptor Pro in terms of its uh, data acquisition. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful to you. Um, There'll probably be more of these. Uh, I've got some more Track It stuff coming. And um, yeah, remember to like and subscribe. And also, if you want your own Metro X, there, there is um, an affiliate link in the description. Uh, it'll get you a little bit of extra money off. Uh, it does help me make these videos because it enables me to generate money so that I can buy things like these. Uh, so, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.